Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you a hair tutorial on this beachy Victoria's Secret like curly wavy look. Um, I'm super excited to show you guys how to do this tutorial. This is usually when I curl my hair, this is like my go-to curling. It's pretty um, quick. It's not too hard at all. It's actually pretty simple. Um, what you are going to need is a full, not a flat iron, but a curling iron about one inch, I would say. It doesn't necessarily have to be a wand. It can just be like one with a clip and you're just going to wrap your hair around it. Going out and buying a wand isn't necessary. Some type of hairspray, obviously. And then um, if you want to go a little extra, you can use a dry texturizing spray. This one is from Kenra. Um, a dry texturizing spray is basically going to like get this blown, like textury, voluminous look. So if you want to see how to get this hair, then please keep watching. Okay, so my hair is already all curled because I didn't want to make this a super long video and it's very simple how you do it. You're, I'm not doing anything different from the bottom to the top. So I just figured I would just have all my hair curled and I would go through a couple pieces with you guys just so that you can see the basics and then do it all on your own. So like I said, you're going to need a one inch curling iron. It doesn't matter if it's a wand or one with a clip. You're just going to be wrapping your hair around it. So let me show you. Okay, so I tied that hair up just so you guys can kind of see my bottom layer. And it's not very super curly because I've been wearing these curls for the last couple of days. So we'll just go ahead and curl this and I will show you guys how to do so. So you're just going to take your curling iron and section off about that much hair. I know you guys can't really tell, but nothing too thin but nothing too thick so you're just going to start and I'm going to curl this piece behind and you're gonna wrap it about once or twice and hold that for about three seconds wrap it again and then one more time and you're going to want to leave about maybe a finger length of hair not being curled because that really gives it that like beachy wave feel so you're not going to hold it there for too long and you're going to let it off it's going to look something like that and then how I make my curls look so big is I take it while it's still hot and I just kind of pull at it like that and then it's got like this beachy full effect to it so let me do a couple more curl this one my hair does hold curl very well, so I don't have to hold um, the curling iron on my hair for too long. If you do have more of a straight hair and it doesn't hold curl very well, then you might want to hold it for a little bit longer. But to get the beachy, like, wavy feel, you're not going to want to have a super tight curl. So this one I'm going to curl towards my face. And you see, like, I curl them all differently. Some all go all the way up to the root of my hair and some not. But I'm always making sure that I leave a decent amount of hair at the bottom not being curled because that always like it's like looks messier to me and then I just pull it like so so usually the top like up here this section of your hair is going to take longer to hold longer to curl than the bottom section over here just because this is always going to be thinner and this is always going to be thicker. So that is why when I do this curling look, I hold the top for just a little bit longer because I don't want to hold the curl long at all. And if I'm just going to throw it all on there and then let it go, the top's not going to be curled at all and then the bottom's going to be super curly. So, just put it like that. Five to seven seconds probably not too long and then pulling it some pieces will be thicker than others and some I'll do that are thinner and some I'll leave more hair at the bottom some I'll leave less this hair style doesn't have to be perfect you're trying to go for that messy beach look so don't you don't have to be too precise For the top layer, you're basically just going to curl all of the pieces the exact same way as you've done every other layer. When I curl my hair, totally fresh hair that's not had any curl to it, I have to go 
bottom layer, middle, top because I have so much hair. If you're just a two layer type of person, you know, bottom, top or bottom, middle, top, whatever, it doesn't matter. Every single layer, you're just going to curl the exact same. There's really nothing hard about this curling look. So I'm going to do a couple at the top. These you can make closer to the scalp if you want, or you can go farther away. I kind of prefer a farther away look because I like my curls to look super long. I don't want them to be too curly and too short. So, just pulling it. Giving it that effect. You want to alternate your curls and go some away from your head and some towards your face, but you don't want to do any towards your face that are like surrounding your face. So like these curls that I always have that are like really close to my face I always do away because I don't want them to be like all up in my face but the ones towards the back of my head I will do curling towards so like so and if some pieces are straighter than others that doesn't matter that always um gives it that like messier effect I like when some of the pieces look kind of straight. I don't know. That's just like my style. If you're like a kind of person that has to have them all super curly, this might not be for you. <laughs> some I don't hold very long. I just pull and kind of fluff them. I'm doing that like throughout the whole look. So that gives it that like mm, meow. This hair look would look good with any part. I have a part down the, not the middle, but the side type of part. It would look just as good, I think, if someone had their hair parted down the middle or a deeper side part. Okay, so this is um, the look completely curled. So now I'm just going to spray it down with hairspray. And I'm using um, Sexy Hair Spray and Play. This is one I got from Ulta on my birthday. So it says, happy birthday, sexy. <laughs> So I'm just going to spray this all over. Not too much because I don't want like hard crusty curls. And then I'm going to go in with the dry texturizing spray from Kenra and just kind of like you just spray and like texture. Oh god, this does smell so good. I like big texturizy hair. That makes that's a word. That's the kind of hair I like. So now this is the completed look. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you were able to recreate this since it is pretty simple. It's also pretty quick. I usually will do my whole head in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and I have pretty thick hair. So I think it's pretty quick and simple for anybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you could just subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and comment any ideas you have below for future videos. Um, but I think that's all and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later.